Hello, I'm your superhero critic, and I'll stay super as long as you stay awesome. Nickelodeon has had a lot of different comics produced for their different shows. Invader Zim, Rocco's Modern Life, and even Rugrats have a set of comics. That being said, the very first comic to ever be released was Ren and Stimpy Show. This very psychotic show has one of the biggest parodies within superheroes. The Powder Toast Man. That being said, because Marvel themselves are the ones who released these comics, they of course decided that Powder Toast Man needed to fight Spider-Man. So that being said, I'm going to bring to you... Ren and Stimpy, number six. The cover of the comic showcases Ren and Stimpy looking on as Spider-Man and Powdered Toast Man are clashing head-to-head, -head. and because no one demanded it, this is the review you're getting. We begin with Ren and Stimpy opening up their can of Powdered Toast, but they learn that it's empty. I'm all out of Powdered Toast! Calling Powdered Toast Man. Come in. Please respond. That's not Powdered Toast Man! Nope, it is our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man who is apparently filling in for Powdered Toast Man who has been mind-controlled by an evil genius. And of course they're not going to show us who the evil genius is yet. But he will eventually rise to the occasion. Spider-Man then uses his webbing to magically make webbed toast. And that's a thing that I just said. When suddenly Spider-Man's costume expands, which apparently is a distress call, and he leaves the two to enjoy their food, which they gleefully enjoy, but spit out anyway. Spidey heads to the headquarters, and the man he meets tells him how bad the situation is, and we see Powdered Toast Man destroying the street, being controlled by Dr. Donut. Walloping Web Snappers! <laughs> Too long has Powdered Toast Man been a part of a company breakfast. Now thanks to I, Dr. Donut, his eight essential vitamins and iron will become part of a complete breakfast. Two things. One, Great Robin ripoff, Spidey. And two, I don't want any vitamins from someone who has nipple powers. But that's just me. As Powdered Toast Man fights for his control and ability to speak, Spider-Man tries to figure out how he can win, including breaking the fourth wall. Hold it right there, tall, dark, and crusty! Oh, you remembered! Dr. Dona increases his control on Powder Toast Man, forcing him to shoot corrosive croutons at the webhead. Mind if I wash them down with some punch, breadhead? Only if it's Raisin Punch! Please give me a raisin for continuing this review. Our heroes continue their banter as Powder Toast Man shoots razor-sharp slices of bread towards Spider-Man, who quickly dodges them and lays a punch into Powder Toast Man's stomach than once in the head, because it's what he needed. Hooray for bread puns! With Powder Toast Man down, Spidey wants to know what his final words are until Powder Toast Man sneezes, encasing him in a snot ball. Then again, he's been in worse situations, and has been in bigger balls. Spidey continues the thoughts of random people he needs to save, and he finally breaks free from the snot ball. Spidey then spots a milk truck and pulls an Attitude Era Kurt Angle, spraying the crap out of Powdered Toast Man. However, Dr. Donut hits him from behind with a lead pipe. Even in the 90s, 
Stanley still needed to have his cameos. Powdered Toast Man then pulls a can of powdered toast out of his pocket and becomes a Popeye parody. Well, this comic has become a wrestling joke. With Powdered Toast Man powered up and our heroes saying punny bread puns, while they wrap up, Dr. Donut, Ren, and Stimpy join our heroes and Stimpy asks if the two will ever team up again. But Spidey says Powdered Toast Man is not even in Spidey's league, which ends up with Powdered Toast Man punching him three wall. Okay, so while that's the end of the main story, the comic actually still has two extra mini stories within them. So, to extend this review a little bit more, let's go into those. Our first mini story revolves around Ren and Stimpy asking Spidey if they can be his sidekicks, and they decide to show off their powers with Catboy hacking up hairballs, and the pupillator shoves his eyes in Spidey's face. All I have to say is that the mask did it better. And our final mini story is an Ask Dr. Stupid short asking the question who smells worse, Powdered Toast Man or Spider Man? And the answer is clearly the one not made out of bread. This comic is exactly what you expect it to be. It's Ren and Stimpy in comic form with more of a comedic twist on Spider Man's character. And it's honestly a great funny read. That being said, join me next week as we continue our Spider-Man fun by taking a look at Homecoming. I'm your superhero critic, and I'll stay super as long as you stay awesome.